Hey there fools, Big T here and I'm back with another video and this is breaking news. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Metroid Prime 4 will not be making it out in 2019 or the foreseeable future. Uh, Nintendo did something pretty unprecedented for them. They just announced that uh, basically the development cycle has not been living up to their standards and they want to change course, basically start over again from scratch. So it looks like Metro Prime 4 will not be coming out anytime soon. And that is a bit depressing, but you know, it is what it is. These things happen in the industry all the time. Uh, this isn't anything new. Uh, there are some differences here, we'll talk about that, but this isn't really anything new here. Um, we've heard stories uh, pretty much way after the fact that games were canceled uh, Nintendo stepped in and we learned a lot of things about the development cycle and how you know those development cycles also have not lived up to standards so uh, this is a little bit different is a little bit strange because like I said Nintendo is really usually pretty secretive and as far as uh, you know there's development cycles what's going on uh, with the games and whatnot that they're making and uh, for them to actually come out with a uh, standalone video talking about how uh, you know they're basically starting over again with a new team uh, the, the game's going back to retro studios it looks like uh, I want to also talk about some things that has to do with that what implications that may mean but uh, this is like I said pretty unprecedented uh, for Nintendo to basically admit that you know this is a top franchise for them this is a top tier franchise obviously it's been dormant for a while but this is one of their major franchises and for the for it to be pretty much uh, mishandled at this point I mean I don't know any other way you can say it uh, is very surprising and it's very surprising for them to admit that because uh, you know fans have been waiting for a long time for a Metroid Prime uh, another game in the Metroid series and uh, we're not going to get it for at least another two and a half, three years, most likely. If they are indeed starting from scratch, we don't know if they're going to keep any elements from the previous uh, setup. You know, uh, story wise, maybe some story will stay uh, or maybe not. Virtual may want to just start over and do their own thing, which is understandable. And uh, here we are. So like I was saying earlier, uh, I guess... Uh, we know what Retro Studios' new game is. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, uh, what implications does this uh, have on Retro Studios? They have been working on something for quite some time now. Uh, is that thing done? Uh, is that thing being close to done? Is it still a thing? Uh, we don't know. Um, and for, them to, for Nintendo to announce that Retro Studios is going to be taking over again... Uh, does that mean that uh, some of the team working on whatever they're working on now is going to start on this game? Or is it going to be the full team because that game is pretty much done? I mean, this could, you know, this leads to a lot of more questions. <laughs> uh, obviously, it gives us some answers, but there's a lot more questions now as far as what's going to happen uh, with Retro Studios' game, if it still even exists, and uh, how long. We're going to have to wait for the next Metroid game. Again, I don't think it's going to happen before two and a half, three years um, at the at the least. So this could end up being an end of Switch uh, life cycles title uh, or beginning of the next system's uh, life uh, cycle title. Uh, so it may end up being a dual release or just uh, a release on the next console. Um, but whatever happens is definitely going to be late in the Switch's life cycle because we're already two years in pretty much right now. And another two and a half, three years, that's going to be late in the life cycle. And will Nintendo decide, hey, we want this to launch for the next console or uh, let's go ahead and put this out at the end? Um, I would figure 
it would be uh, if anything it'll be a dual launch or it'll just launch with the next console I don't I don't see them putting a, a title like Metroid Prime out at the end unless they do some other things like you know they build up and maybe focus on making a 2d Metroid for switch that would be something that they could throw I want to say throw together because that seems like it's cheap work but that's something that could they could put together within a year and a half uh, at least you know a year and a half two tops they can get a team together to do that they could obviously do what a lot of fans have been expecting them to do uh, which is deliver a prime trilogy HD um, that's something they could do in a year year and a half um, <clears throat> maybe even less who knows <clears throat> So, yeah, it's just, um, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> things up in the air right now. There's a lot of implications uh, having to deal with this. And like I said, this is a very strange thing for N Nintendo to come out. Obviously, uh, looking back now, it was not the best idea to put out that Photoshop <laughs> video announcement of Metroid Prime 4. Obviously, um, I had believed, or I at least thought in my heart of hearts, that the game had been, you know, worked on for some time at the announcement, even uh, at least, you know, initial stages, and uh, they would have some more uh, than what they have now, which is basically nothing. They're starting over again, so um, I don't know uh, when we'll see Metroid again. At least, you know, console, a console Metroid, uh, 3D Metroid. We might, you know, get a 2D Metroid at some point. Who knows? Uh, maybe they should do a Federation 4 style game, you know, uh, that's multiplayer focused, um, maybe a bit different than what we got on 3DS. Uh, but that's something I think they can't just wait until the next uh, until Prime 4 is ready uh, to put out another Metroid game. They got to do something uh, in between there, uh, you know, maybe put out a Prime Hunters type of uh, uh Metroid game, kind of an online focused Prime Hunters type of game. That's something I think they can put together fairly quickly. Uh, a smaller team can be working on that. That would be interesting, you know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen in the uh, future of Metroid? Uh, do you think it's going to be a late in the life cycle title um, or is going to be a launch title for the next console? And uh, what do you think? you think they should do some kind of stopgap game? I think they should. And obviously a Metroid Prime Trilogy HD would be great uh, for the Switch. There's been you know a lot of rumors and speculations about that happening. So maybe we'll get that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Sad news, but uh, at least uh, you know Prime is going back to Retro Studios. Um, and uh, they've obviously been hiring a lot of talent. So maybe they're up to the par, uh, or at least up to up to being able to put out a, a really cool Metroid uh, game, Metroid Prime game. So we'll see what happens. Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening, and I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.